We're here with James Perrette with VegaWatt at the National Restaurant Association Conference. Thanks for giving us some of your time. Oh, sure, no problem. Um, you have a very cool technology that uh, I'd love to learn about, so please talk to us about the VegaWatt. Uh, sure. The VegaWatt is a system that's meant to be sold to restaurants. It allows restaurants to reclaim the value of their waste vegetable oil. So for every gallon of oil that a restaurant puts into this machine, they can they get back directly between three and four dollars in energy costs. So it's a tremendous savings. Restaurants can, based off their own fryer oil, what they're throwing away today, to provide between ten and twenty-five percent of the power needs of their restaurant. Wow! And is is a lot is it a lot of oil that a restaurant throws away? Not really. Uh, we have a product range that really targets uh, a lot of different. Uh, typical establishments, uh, everywhere from about 30 gallons a week uh, all the way up to 120 gallons a week. We can provide a unit that will give you a very strong financial return. Um, above 120 gallons a week, we can put together a custom system for you. Cool. Now, talk to us about how this, how you came up with this system. Well, it started out, honestly, with selfish intent. Um, I was, at the time, looking into the biodiesel craze. This was back in uh, 2007 or so when biodiesel was really big, and the media would have you believe that you could pick up this oil for free, very easily turn it into biodiesel, and drive your car for free. It's only free if you don't consider your time valuable. I looked into the amount of equipment you need, the process, how wasteful it is. Um, you need methanol, methanol which is a petroleum product, so you're not free of foreign oil. You need lye, which is a very hazardous chemical. Um, every year during the biodiesel pro production, a lot of people burn their houses down trying to do this stuff. 30% of what you produce is glycerin. It's a waste product. It has to be thrown away. Actually, it's treated as hazardous waste because it's contaminated with methanol and lye. And the end product, for transportation purposes, you're limited by the laws of thermodynamics to about 35% efficiency. I didn't like any of that. I looked more toward the straight vegetable oil kits, which it's a change in philosophy rather than altering the chemical composition of the oil to run on a standard engine, you modify a standard engine so that it burns the oil inherently. And really, that's all we've done here. I realized that the value proposition to restaurants isn't free disposal. They can get free disposal from anybody. The value is reclaiming that oil cost so that the restaurant can benefit as well. Okay, so the, someone's going to give you the oil, no. and what are you going to... Okay. Uh, restaurants retain their oil. They buy the unit. As a restaurant has oil to dispose of, they pour it into the machine. Where do they pour it into? Uh, they pour it into the hopper over here. You know, it, it's a, a fairly typical setup. Uh, anyone from the restaurant industry recognizes the 55-gallon drum. These are barrels they have out back anyway. They pour it in here. It's an automated process from there on. There's no switches or dials or buttons here. Um, literally pouring a bucket of oil into the system will start the process. Uh, the system turns on automatically cleans and refines that oil, uh, filters it down to the point at which it becomes a combustible product for us in the engine. The engine combusts that fuel. It produces electricity off of the generator head, uh, produces hot water, we reclaim that as well. And on this end, end of the system, we have the, an inverter. That inverter allows us to tie seamlessly back into the restaurant so that we're not dedicating the unit to any specific machine or lighting, um, so there's no transition. When this unit is provided power, it's uh, synchronized and seamlessly integrated into the grid. We're running parallel with the grid. We feed back into a standard distribution panel, and as this system comes up and goes down, as oil is available and depleted, there's no flicker of lights, there's no equipment that's going to come up or come down, depending on this system, it's completely seamless. Cool, and how much does the system cost? This unit uh, currently lists for $32,000. This is a five kilowatt unit. Uh, it will return a payback in two to three years, depending on your price of electricity and hot water. If you want to think of it in terms of monthly lease, there's third party leasing available, uh, pre-approved. Uh, the rates are about $450 a month for this. The monthly benefit is about $850 a month. So a restaurant, month one, you get to pocket $400. That's not bad for a product you've been throwing away. And is this product patented? Are there ways oh, yeah, that you're we've protecting? Got patents. Okay. International patents. Cool. And how, do, how can people learn more about technology? Uh, they can go to our website, vegawatt.com, and contact uh, my VP of sales or myself. 
and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Cool. James, thanks so much for the time and good luck. Thank you.